Hey guys, what's going on? This is Richie here from the Red Planet Films. I know we've been away for quite a while with a new video, so I thought I'd start bringing you guys some new reviews at the very least. You know, that's what I can do just for now. Um, I figured I'd bring you guys a Blu-ray review for Mad Max. This is the 1979 original with Mel Gibson. And um, this is a uh, collector's edition, uh, sort of a re-release. Um, if you will, that came out, um, I don't know if it was like a couple of days before, or like a week before, or like around the same time as uh, Mad Max Fury Road came out with uh, Tom Hardy, and um, I think this came out on the 5th of May. I don't remember exactly when uh, Fury Road came out, but that's a different story for a different time. Anyway, um, I had to pick this up because, well, I had to, I mean, just look at this thing, it's beautiful just the artwork on it and everything. I love it. If I had a poster of it, I would hang it up on my wall, but I have no space, to be quite honest with you, so I don't know exactly where I would put it. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys something because I think it's pretty cool. The slip cover inside, uh, it's a reversal slip, like, sleeve thingy, and it has the uh, original, like, I guess that was the original movie poster at the time, which I thought was pretty cool. So let me put that back. And you guys get to watch me fail miserably as I attempt to put this back inside. And actually, it didn't come out too bad. Okay, there we go. I should have a lot more faith in myself. Nope, never mind, I messed up. Uh -huh. Oops. Anyway, some of the special features in this air uh, some new interviews with Mel Gibson and a couple other people, some audio commentary as well so you can listen along as you're watching the movie and uh, oh, pretty interesting to listen to if you know you're that into like the movie or whatever I do that for a couple of films here and there just to get the director's opinion and the writer and there's a motorcycle passing by they also have a uh, new interview here with uh, Mel Gibson I believe and a whole sort of feature kind of chronicalizing the entire like Mad Max universe which is pretty interesting it has the original theatrical trailers TV spots and uh, photo gallery here and there and um, this movie's not that long it's 93 minutes um, I can understand if some people might find this movie just a little bit slow and not that interesting because it is again a 1979 movie the budget wasn't all that big but this movie pretty much gave birth to the post-apocalyptic sort of drama like genre not drama excuse me um, although this one wasn't necessarily set in a post-apocalyptic setting, um, but it was sort of like a precursor to, you know, like, sort of the end of the world, sort of, you know, it was like right before everything just kind of like went haywire, so to speak. Um, and then they did film this in Australia, and um, Mel Gibson, pretty spot-on Australian accent, if I may say so myself. Um, at least, you know, yeah, I think so. I don't know, maybe somebody who is actually Australian might think it's terrible. I definitely agree with this little quote back here. It is a riveting classic, you know, it kind of spawned certain movies that we have today. And, um, some of the action set pieces, especially towards the end when, really, that's when everything sort of picks up, um, are really interesting and very well done. Um, some of, like, the, uh, action sequences with like the cars and everything that's really like one of the movies like strong points and everything and just the practical effects and the acting's pretty good although a little bit cheesy because it is like a 35 year old movie or something like that. Mel Gibson looks like a small child just looks so young so young. But anyway guys that's pretty much it let me know down in the comments down below what you thought of the original Mad Max and actually tell me what you thought of Fury Road and uh Maybe Road Warrior and um, the third one, which I will be having reviews for those as well. So, like this video, share it with your friends, um, share it all over the internet, because why not? And subscribe for more awesome videos just like this. Okay. Forgot my outro.